We had a delay in COVID numbers from the state today, but the upward trend continues. It's another first when it comes to dining out. The state health department coming out with new restrictions requiring restaurants to collect the name and number of anyone that eats there. News 8's Jacqueline Francis talked with restaurant owners about the new rules in place, getting their reaction new tonight. Jacqueline. Brian and Sue, restaurant owners tell me it was only a matter of time before they were hit with new restrictions, but they did not expect something like this. No mask, no phone number, no service. Restaurants and bars are once again coming to terms with new restrictions issued by the state. Now we're putting another burden on saying, if you don't tell me their name and phone number, I can't serve you. The Michigan Licensed Beverage Association pushing back on the latest order, requiring all dine-in establishments to collect the names and phone numbers of its customers, using the information for contact tracing purposes. New rules that have restaurant owners feeling a bit of deja vu. I think back to the troubles we had enforcing masks with, with certain guests, and I think there'll be just an adjustment period, but hopefully everyone realizes this is the way that it is and gets used to it. People are very concerned about their personal data, regardless of how much it is. And I think that is what we're going to run into, people that are very concerned about that. The stricter regulations come in response to a surge in COVID cases. State health officials and Governor Gretchen Whitmer making it clear that any business in violation of these orders could face a fine up to $1,000. People have dropped their guard and we see our numbers going up and that's why it's important people understand these epidemic orders have the power of the law. Do you guys have a table for six available? Restaurant owners telling me they'll abide by the rules but won't tolerate patrons that put up a fight. Yelling at a young staff member about a restriction you don't like doesn't make you a patriot. It doesn't make you a constitutional scholar. It makes you a bully, and I'd rather not have you here at all. The contact tracing mandate doesn't take effect until Monday, while the other part of the order has already taken effect, stating that restaurants can seat no more than six people to a table. Reporting in studio, Jacqueline Francis, News 8. Thank you, Jacqueline. Other restrictions from the state today. If you're planning to have a get together for Halloween or the big game this weekend, well, the state says you need to limit the number of people gathering inside your home to 10. No more than 50 people can gather inside buildings without fixed seat venues, and 500 or fewer are required at fixed seat venues like theaters or indoor stadiums. We have all of this posted over at woodtv.com.